Hey, hello friends. Welcome to our channel SAPSD and ABAP League Support. So whenever we work on that uh, real-time systems, which is relevant to backup processing in SAP S4 HANA Advanced ATP. So we might get some issues or the client might raise some concerns say, stating that few orders are not picked up by the BOP jobs. So in the BOP run, the item wise, schedule and wise data will be represented as in one requirement. Suppose an order contains one item, then that item can contains multiple schedule lines. Then each and every item schedule in number wise it's called one requirement if system picked up 10 requirements it doesn't mean that it picked up 10 orders it might be related to one order or two order three order but it's simply referring to the number of items only not the number of orders right in any cases system not able to pick up the our sales order which is required then what might be the reason how to analyze that why that order not picked up by the BOP job fine there are some certain rules are there which the order should, has to fulfill we should pass that requirements then only those order will be picked up by the bad job So, for example, the first point is that order is fully delivered, right? Or it's fully rejected. So, if the order is fully delivered or fully rejected means, then those order won't be picked up. Then it's not considered by BOP job. In other words, if the order level, right, we have one field called fixed rate and quality. Okay, if this flag is active and no confirmed quantity, then also VOP won't pick up this one. The reason is that whenever this field is enabled and no confirmed quantity is there in the order level means, then this order won't transfer it to MD04 or else the database table is VBBE. So in VBBE table level, we don't see this record. If we don't see this record means then obviously BOP job won't pick it up. Now the next point is that in OB Z2 transaction code, so we will be enabling the advanced ATP for checking group wise. In OB Z2 transaction code, if AATP is not active for checking group. Right, then also BOP job won't pick it up. So we should check the material master level. What chicken group has been picked up by that uh, material during artificial time and uh, parallelly verify that uh, chicken group in OVZ. And this chicken group we can see in VBAP MTFP. 
FPP, I think. Okay, this field will be holding that checking group in that order item table. The next is that order item should be related to either PSE or PIL or ARL. If, if one is relevant means fine. If in not any one of these three not relevant means then also it won't work. So to to make it understand whether the item is relevant for PSE, PAL or ARN, then SAP provided one standard report that is SDR QCHCK. Okay, so this report should run and we should give sales order details in the report. Then we will get the information whether it is relevant or not. Anyways, about this report, we can have a call in separate. We can discuss separately. And we know that MD04. So MD04 is will be useful to transfer the requirements to MRP for an order, production order, plan order, delivery, right? So in any situations, even though the order item is relevant for uh, transfer the requirement, still if it doesn't appear in BBBE, if order number is not visible in BBBE or MD04 T code, then also we will get this issue. So for the same reason also, we can run the same report to check whether it's relevant or not. And one more report also available that is ATP underscore VBBE underscore consistency. So either SDR Q, Q check or AT, ATP VBBE consistency. We can run either of this report to understand the inconsistency in VBBE level. And during creation of an order, requirement type should be determined. We know that in the TOR, transfer of requirement, requirement class, requirement type is mandatory. That's important concept, right? So during creation of an order, requirement type should be determined. determined into order item level. The field is BBAP, BE, BEAE. So in this field, if we don't see requirement type, then also we'll get this issue. In one more point is that in the requirement class of the document, the T code is OVZZ. Okay, in the requirement class of the document, we have one field called assembly processing. If this field holding apart from apart from go, then also requirement won't be transferred. In some cases, there might be some inconsistencies in BBEP. Table level. 
so to remove in consistency in VVP table level then we can run one report that is sd underscore check underscore vbut underscore rqmqtv so this report can be useful to remove the inconsistencies from vbep table level sd check vbep rq mty In other words, there might be basic error when defining the BOP segments, right? So, for example, we know that the, for example, the customer number is 10 characters, right? Length is 10 characters. Currently, the system number range is 5 only. That means, uh, um, for example, the customer number is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay? It is 5 characters, but the length is 10 characters, right? So in this case, in that configure BOP segment app, we should give customer number as five zeros, one, two, three, four, five, then four, five, six, seven, eight. And the same logic applies to sales order as well. For example, the length of the sales order is 10 characters, but currently the order number is nine only, getting determined, right? Then also we should add one zero before the order number, then give this order number to the configure BOP segment app. So it's always suggestible that whenever we define any BOP segments, always try to pick up the uh, values from the F4 help only. Don't enter the customer number or sales order number directly. If you go with F4 help pins, we will get the exact value by adding leading zeros with the system so we should verify these points whenever any order item not picked up by the bop job hope this video will be very helpful to you guys you can catch up in the next video thank you bye for now